Hello, puppy. Okay, here we are at the beginning of the rails to trails trail <laughs> that uh, starts off here in Titusville. I guess I should explain what we're doing, what's going on. So today is Sunday the 8th of October and I'm going to be trying to ride from here in Titusville all the way to New Smyrna, New Smyrna Beach. That's like 70 kilometers I think. So there and back will be like 140 which will be by far the longest ride I've done uh, this year. We'll see if we can make it or not. If I can make it or not, I don't know. But this is kind of cool. This uh, bridge goes over Garden Street. Garden Street, excuse me. It's one of the few climbs we have here in Titusville. One is the Max Brewer Bridge. You have this bridge and a couple tiny hills in various places throughout the city. This is a very cool thing. It's uh, Mims United Methodist Church, and they have a um, like a bike pit, pit stop. Let me uh, pull in, and <laughs> she's waving it to me and saying there's refreshments. Let me pull in and show you what it's about. Is it okay if I do some recording? Yes. All right, cool. So yeah, it's a really nice uh, stop here. You have, of course, a bike parking. Let me turn this off real quick. Yeah, and they have a great uh, repair stand here. How long have you guys had this? Uh, about I don't... six, seven months now. Okay, because I don't remember it last time. Yeah, and then... The last time I was here. We have the water refill station. Oh, that's nice. We've had that about a year. Okay. So if you need to come by here and refill your water bottle, and that's cool. It says how many have been served. Is that right? 2000? Yes. yes. 2043? Wow. Bottles, yes. Cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's a map over there. That's very That's a handy. New map. That's the latest map. Okay. Let's take a look at that. So let's see. We will be, well, we're right here. I started off down in South Titusville around there. We're here. Somewhere up here, we're going to break off, head up to uh, New Smyrna. Yeah. Very handy, very nice. And it even, I, I think what this is showing is some of the areas that aren't, aren't complete on the trail, represented by the dots. Also here. Oh, coffee wow. Coffee so you have coffee. So we have. That is so nice. I gotta stock it back up. Oh my goodness. Um, so really hot, you need pickle pops. <laughs> need, um, Uncrustables. Look at our signature wall. Oh, very cool. So we've had people from all over sign and. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And you're like a ah, perfect, yeah. like a donation Snacks, area. Yeah. Snacks. You can help out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. How long have you guys been doing this? About four years. Okay. Okay, I stopped there for a little bit longer than I planned. That uh, lady, I think her name was Clarence, was super nice. She was just telling me everything about what's going on at their church and at their uh, bike stop. I don't even know what to call it. I should ask her, but super nice service. I mean, that's just amazing. They have bike parking. There's also, by the way, you can park your car there. I've done that before. You can park your car there, hop on the trail with your bike, ride as long as you want. Anyway, super cool service. Here's some chickens. Well, I guess I should mention why I'm doing this ride. And there's actually a couple reasons. Um, number one, I just wanted to get out and ride. Uh, secondly, I'm going to New Smyrna Beach, or at least gonna try to make it to New Smyrna Beach, which I, I've never rode there before. So this is the Florida coast to coast, um, rails to trail, trail. <laughs> and um, 
it, it, from going from Titusville heading west, there's a break off and I've never been down the break off. It kind of heads more north for quite a while. So, so I was keen on um, trying that out. But the other big thing is that my company that I work for, they're doing some kind of uh, charity bike ride thing this weekend, this weekend only. And so for every, whew, I'm out of breath, sorry. <laughs> For every um, 100 miles, or excuse me, 100 kilometers that are recorded amongst everybody in the company, they're gonna donate one euro to one of these like several UNICEF like uh, charities. So I don't know a whole lot about it honestly, but I figured it was a good enough excuse to try to get at least 100 kilometers in to earn that 100 euros for the charity. So okay it is 10 15 in the morning i've gone 23 kilometers since i left my house and i just wanted to stop right here and show you something else that's pretty interesting along the trail it is the white sands buddha center it says here the gate closes at 10 a.m no excuse me gate opens at 10 a.m closes at 4 p.m and so you can hop over to this uh buddha center anytime the gates open and i don't know what days exactly but i've actually been there before they have uh like a breakfast if you know, pay a little bit for it, I, I don't remember, it's like eight eight dollars or something. But it's pretty nice, pretty unique thing. Uh yeah, it's a really nice center, very relaxing atmosphere and stuff like that. They have like a pond and all that stuff. Okay, we're at the next kind of rest stop that you know somebody has made. I think this one's called Virgie's, yes. Virgie's pit stop. Nice that it's here. I don't need anything, so I'm just going to keep moving on. But of course, they have the snacks. And let's see, where are we? Where are we? We must be right here, right there. And now we're going to take a right off. Well, this is Volusia County, by the way. We just left Brevard County down there, where, where, where I started from. We're going to take a right here, follow this all the way up, try to finish here at the beach. That's the goal for today. Uh, I've never been here, so normally I've just gone this way all the way across the state, but uh, today we're going to take a right just up here soon. Okay, we're at 48 kilometers. Uh, it's 1130. Don't know where I'm at. I'm in Volusia County, somewhere heading north along I-95 to the to the left there. There's also some shooting. Here's some gunshots. Probably some kind of... Oh, I see. Yeah, it's some kind of an official range, apparently. That's not always the case here in Florida. Sometimes there will just be gunshots in, in any random woods. This is uh, Cow Creek Hunting Hunt Club Shooting Range. There you go. In terms of me, I'm getting tired. I'm not going to lie. I'm not in great shape. You know, physically, I just haven't rode that many, that much, that much distance lately. So. I'm already getting a little bit sore and I'm not even quite at 50 kilometers. I have to do over 100 today, so, but it's going to be a long day. We're still going. Okay, we are at 62 kilometers. It's 12:20 in the afternoon, and uh, I'm getting very hungry. So I'm gonna look for somewhere to eat. I think I'm only like I, I don't know, like 30 more minutes until I'm like in the city, getting close to the beach. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm just telling myself, I'm I'm lying to myself that on the way back it's gonna be so much more easier because I'm getting tired. But uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Still pedaling. It's a beautiful day still, a little bit overcast, so it's not too hot. Of course, I'm, yeah, sweating a little bit, but really about perfect. So let's keep going. Some nice bridges here, although they're frightening to me a little bit because they're uh, wood and they're wet. So it's been raining here probably last night. And uh, I've had a bad experience with wet, wet bridges before. So I'm being very, very careful here. Okay, here we are at State Road 44. And, uh, well, the sign right there says beach, so I'm pretty sure that's the way I'm gonna be going. Let me go ahead and check my phone real quick. Road to be riding on. 
Yeah, that's the road. Looks like we're in the old town here. It must be New Smyrna. New Smyrna Old Town, I suppose. Not really sure where I'm going, but I know I'm heading east, so the beach has got to be that way, but we do have to cross over a causeway at some point. Okay, when I get down here to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at where we need to go because that's not a bridge. All right, just riding past here, almost to the beach, almost to the causeway, but I see this place called Island Roasters uh, something deli, so I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, I spent a, quite a bit of time there at that cafe slash restaurant, really good. A little bit pricey, I think I spent like, whoa, almost fell over because of this wind. Anyway, I probably spent like 16, 17 bucks for a small sandwich and a coffee, but really good vegetarian sandwich, really cool atmosphere. So glad I went, but uh, now let's get to the beach. Nice wide bike lane here on the bridge. One unique thing about here in uh, Flag, or excuse me, uh, Volusia County, maybe Flagler too, you can actually drive your car on the beach. I don't think, I don't think it's like that in a lot of other places in Florida or anywhere really. It's kind of weird. Hey, here's a guy riding his bike. Maybe I'll try to ride a little bit down the beach. Maybe it's too soft. I, I don't know. Let's get, let's try. Let's see what happens. It's actually working. I'm riding. It's pretty hard, hard packed. This is absolutely awesome right now. I'm on the beach, it's hard packed. I've never rode this good on a beach before and I have the wind to my back, so I'm flying. So you can see the flags. Wind strong going south. That's what I've been against the whole ride. Oh, guys backing out here. So much fun, super cool. All right, I was having too much fun and I went too far. <laughs> I went too far down the beach. I can't ride on the beach all the way back home. Uh, maybe I could, but that would be crazy. So I'm actually having to get back off of the beach and go a little bit north to get back on the trail. What an awesome day to ride. Okay, so on the way back to the mainland, I'm taking a different road, like a more southern causeway. It's not near as nice. But at least the climb looks steeper, maybe. Looks pretty big. I'm glad I have my Nog rear light. By the way, they sent me this one just to kind of show on the channel or whatever. They didn't really specify what I needed to do. I, I emailed and I said, hey, can I, have, can I have one of your lights? I like them. I've done some reviews on them before. They said, sure. So they sent me their big Nog which is like their biggest, brightest one. I'll show it to you later. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I have it right now so everybody can see me. The cars are going by here probably 60 miles an hour, 65 maybe sometimes. So 
not the funnest. Okay, here we are at the top of the bridge. It's not a particularly hard climb, really. Not particularly fun either with all these cars. I mean, we have a, a wide lane, but it's just very loud. Okay, that was very exciting coming back. The, there was a couple more bridges that got really narrow, no bike lane at all. I was going as fast as I can, then I had to cut across all the lanes of traffic to get into this turn lane to get on this road, which is the one to get back. Oh, look at that. This uh, pole has grown right into the tree, or the tree has grown right into the pole. The good thing is I just noticed this, that there's a hospital right there on the corner if I were to get hurt, so at least that. Anyway, now I'm back on this road. I'm pretty sure I came in on this road. I'm gonna, this is gonna be kind of boring for a little bit. I'll come back if there's something interesting. Another update. So it is 2.56 in the afternoon. I'm at 100 and 100.8 kilometers. All is going well. I'm sore. My backside is sore. My arms are sore. My back is sore. Everything's sore. This is probably enough riding for me, but I still have another 40 kilometers, which is probably like an hour and a half or something like that. Oh yeah, I did want to talk about this Nog backlight. This is the Nog. They did send me this, by the way. I asked them, can you send me one for free? And they said, yes. They didn't say I have to do anything, but anyway, this is the Nog. Um, Big Nog, I think it's called actually. Nog is the brand, I think it's just called the Big Nog. I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, I think it's their brightest one. So it's like very, very bright. Has a long battery life. I'm really enjoying it a lot actually. I have one, two, three, four. Now with this one, four Nog lights. Three of them I bought myself. This one they sent to me. Um, this is their brightest one. I've been using it the most because it's so bright. I feel like during the daytime, all of them are good, but this one's probably the best. Uh, in terms of brightness. Now, obviously, you can't see it really on the camera, but uh, this one's like, you can be far away in a car and you'll be able to see this one. All right, folks, I am at 108 kilometers and I'm back at Virgie's. Remember, we stopped by here on the way up and I am going to pick something up. Thank goodness I have some cash on me. That's actually pretty rare, but I don't see what the prices are. I don't see that written anywhere. I don't know if I'm missing it. But they have all kinds of goodies. Let's see what's in here. Well, just ice. They have Gatorade over here. Wow, that looks nice. Sodas, I see too. Water in that one. And then uh, some fruit and various bars here. So they do have a payment box right here, but it doesn't say again what the cost is. So I'll just kind of, you know, give a little donation. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stop and get a snack or two. Decided to go with the Nutter Butter. A very healthy food, but it's uh, sure nice right now. I could really use the, the pick-me-up, you know? Mm-mm-mm. I should also mention they have Germex. So you can clean your hands. They have a registry book, which is nice. And a couple extra water bottles and some ibuprofen if you're not feeling good couple very rusty tools but um yeah very nice nice that they have this stop all right guys i am so tired of this ride what are we at 133 kilometers 439 in the afternoon but there's titusville there's my hometown there's my city so I'm very happy to see that. That means soon I'll be home. I'm over it. Anyway, it's been a good ride though. I can't complain. The weather has been perfect. Very cloudy, no rain so far. Here's the famous climb. No trespassing. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, my legs are tired. Okay, here we go. Going over Garden Street. 
There's the river out to the east. There's Old Garden Street out to the west. Here we go down. All right, I'm gonna put this camera away. Now we're in the north part of the old town. It's a lot of interesting um, old homes here. Very expensive homes because they're on the water. I always liked this one, very old. Some beautiful homes here. And one interesting thing about the city, Titusville, is that we're right across the river from the Space Center, Kennedy Space Center. A lot of people in the city work there or work for a company that somehow supports uh, the Space Center and the work they do. I mean, I used to work actually out there for a few years. It was very interesting. Okay, time now is 5.05 .05 p.m. 142.7 kilometers and I'm pretty much home so that's going to be it for this video thanks everybody for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one